Okay, today you are welcome. We have an important topic today. And we are going to be talking about today the judgment seat of Christ. Yes. I want to talk about this judgment seat of Christ because many Christians in this world don't know about the seat of Christ. There is a special judgment set aside for Christians. You see, God is a just God. He's a righteous one. And He is not going to judge His children with the unrighteous. I mean, the born again Christian. God will not judge you with the righteous, with the unrighteous, I mean. So God has set a, a special judgment for his children. And that judgment is called the judgment seat of Christ. And many Christians don't know about this judgment. How will this judgment be then? So I want to talk to you about this judgment. So are you ready? Let's get started. But before we continue, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel for more videos, more understanding of God's word, more videos. Just subscribe to this channel and we get a lot and a lot of more videos to get to. Now, we got to understand that God has a separate judgment for Christians. And this judgment, like I said earlier, is called the judgment seat of Christ. You know, when you read from the 10th verse of the 14th chapter of the book of Romans, it tells us four words to the church at Rome. You know, there was a time where the Christians, some brethren came and wanted to put some joke upon the Christian at Rome. Paul said, when you read from the 10th verse of the 14th chapter, they tell us, But why does that judge that brother? Or, why does that put another that brother? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Then, the question is, what is this judgment seat of Christ? When you read from his letter again to the church at Corinth, when you read from the fifth verse, from, from the fifth chapter and the tenth verse, it tells us, for we, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may, be, may receive the things done in his body, according to that which he has done, whether it be good or it be bad. So, this is not a judgment to determine whether or not we are going to heaven. No. This judgment is talking about here, it is not a judgment to determine whether or not you are going to heaven. But rather it is a judgment to determine whether or not you are going to receive a reward for your Christian service in this life. Let's see it. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10, it tells us, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to, according to, to, to that which he has done. Whether it be good or it be bad. Listen, brothers and sisters. The unrighteous, the unsaved people of this world, the antichrist, people who have denied Jesus as the Lord and personal people, who have not received him, they have their own judgment. And that judgment is recorded in the book of Revelation chapter 20 verses 11 to 15. It's spelled all day. And this is also another subject that I must talk about some days. The judgment of the unsaved. And I have to explain to you also in maybe in an upcoming view. So they have their own judgment. And the Christians have their own judgment. And our judgment is called the judgment seat of Christ. So no one is going to go to hell from the judgment seat of Christ. No. No Christian will go to hell from the judgment seat of Christ. A Christian will, will not get a reward. Or a Christian will miss a reward at the judgment seat of Christ. But no Christian is going to hell from the judgment seat of Christ. Let's see how. First Corinthians chapter 3. Let's read from the long voice down to the 15th voice. It says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, which foundation? Jesus Christ. Gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubbles, Every male work shall be manifest. For the day shall declare it. For it shall be tried. To see as to what 
or what sorrow it is. If any man walk about it, he shall receive a reward. Now, if any man walk, shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. Get it? So, this condition, Jesus Christ, if your work you have done, if it is a work of worth gold, or worth silver, or worth any precious thing, the degree of it worth, he said you shall receive a reward. But if it is burned on that day, because all of us will be there, we shall see the work. They are going to call your name. Call your name and you come out. And Jesus Christ, our brother, will come out and test your work that you have done. You will see everything that, everything that, that, that you did in the church. The services you offer, the church you were cleaning, the choir you were in, the songs you sang in the church, the offering you gave, the project you only took in the church. Everything, every word you did will be tested, will be valued. If you walk about and will not burn, you will receive a reward. But if your work is burned, that means you will lose a reward. If you are supposed to get 10 cities, you will get 2 cities. Sometimes you will not even get any reward. But you will be saved. You will not go to hell. So we, have to be, so we have to lay up treasures for ourselves in heaven. But what we, we do here in the earth, you know, when, when you read from the 33rd verse and the 34th verse of the thought of the book of Luke, it tells us. He said, For he said, Sir, that you may have to give alms. Provide for yourself what treasures in heaven where no thief approaches and where neither much corrupt. For where your heart is, there will treasure be. You see, where your treasure is, that will your heart be. And we can do this by serving God in this life. By walking in the church, doing the things of God, when we have been born again. So it's not time for us to be worrying about our salvation. What or not we lose it. No! Do more for Christ. Win this for Christ. Win souls for Christ. So that you can receive a reward at the judgment seat of Christ. God bless you for watching this video and subscribe for a lot and a lot of more videos because we've got a lot of things coming, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot coming out every week. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you.